While Bordeaux is famous for its reds, there's another story here. A story built on distillation and aging in oak barrels, where the fruit of the vine is reborn. A story that began amid the vineyards surrounding the Camus family chateau, where I went behind closed doors for a visit with my good friend Cyril Camus to learn more about his family business and its artisan culture that has been passed from father to son for five generations. Camus was founded in 1863 by what would be then my grandfather's grandfather. What began as a simple wine growing business was transformed when Jean-Baptiste Camus took the huge risk to compete with the elite. A gamble that created one of the world's most treasured brands. We were wine growers, not from the nobility, didn't have a coat of arms. And at the time, you couldn't be considered a serious company or a serious brand if you don't have this, uh, this link to aristocracy. What my grandfather's grandfather then did, the founder, is that he actually took the um, key to the gate, uh, which has this very unique um, clover uh, design, and he used that as the basis for the family emblem. So logo. this is the original gate key. It is the original. Yes. And that the critical part of the key has become. It has logo. become the company logo. Camus has grown into a brand that is so loved around the world, they actually export almost everything they produce here. And their first big international client? It was the Russian Empire. Camus was the official cognac at the court of the last Tsar. Of course, 1917 brought a few changes, as we well know, and my grandfather, he vowed to bring Camus back to Russia <laughs> during his lifetime which he did, and at the time of the Soviet Union, Camus was actually the only cognac that was present in all the Soviet countries. So Camus's history is really long in, in Russia and, and pretty much uninterrupted. While the process of creating cognac may appear to have changed little over the centuries, at Camus it is treated as a living tradition that continually evolves in a family-owned cognac company, and today, with the last, you never work for yourself. You're always taking advantage of the work that your father has done, and you use that to build the company for the next generation. So you always work from the past for the future. One of the things I found most interesting at Camus was the hands-on experience of their master blender workshops. So here, you have in front of you four different glass with four different cognac. Okay. It's a journey for the senses, stepping through each of the major regions that provide the eau de vie Camus uses to create the complex, harmonious aromas of its cognacs. Slowly, we put our glass just close our nose. Very slowly. Ah, it's good, huh? The goal is to learn how to identify the subtle character differences between the samples, which you then use in a ratio of your choosing to blend your one-of-a-kind cognac. It's a rare opportunity to peek inside the world of the cellar master, to better understand this profession that is as much art as it is science. When you are crafting your own product, blend it into something that is your own creation, that is a magic moment that you can only really understand if you're doing it yourself. Bordeaux is an intriguing region that I find fascinating. I hope you'll explore more of the region's culture and traditions. <laughs>